Gynecomastia is at an all-time high in the modern world. Many and many young men nowadays have this issue, at least to some extent, especially in the Western industrialized world. And this is very sad because this is simply, and I will say it frankly, this is simply due to a low testosterone, due to an easy, comfortable life that young men not have nowadays. They're physically weak as well as mentally weak. They have more estrogen than, than most women do. Than a lot of women do. And this is the reason why they literally create fucking breast mass, breast tissue. And men are not supposed to do this. Men are not supposed to create this fucking tissue. Especially in not during puberty. However, this is a very super common in the world nowadays. In this world. And I say this and I really emphasize this because I don't think some people understand. Men are forming breast tissue in their bodies through puberty. And people will, people will probably hear this and ignore it and be like, Oh yeah, well men have to create some sort of fucking breast tissue, right? No, they fucking don't. Especially not during puberty. It is not normal. Men are not supposed to create this fucking breast tissue. And when I say breast tissue, I mean breast tissue. There's been some cases in which even some men have fucking created fucking breast milk. And that is not a good thing. And I say this because the modern world will just ignore this and try to sweep it under the mat. Like, oh yeah, it's mine. It's not, it's not a real problem. And most people will hear this and they'll be like, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, men, men can be feminine as well. Men can have titties, right? No, they fucking can't. These... Young men's, young men's hormones, they're being altered. They have more estrogen than fucking women do nowadays. This is fucking crazy. And just think about the issues, because this is the thing. People don't, aren't, don't make the connection. They're like, oh yeah, well, that's totally fine. No, this is the reason for so many modern world issues nowadays. This is the reason why so many men are feminine. Feminine men are those that are depressed. They're the ones that kill themselves. This is the reason for all of these issues. Fucking school shootings. Men killing themselves. Because men kill themselves a lot more often than women do. And this is not a coincidence. Men being all feminine, being told that it's okay to, for, for men to be feminine, being told to chop off their balls. All this bullshit which just keeps making men weaker and weaker. And keeps feeding into all this modern world, all these modern world issues. And people don't make the connection. And I say this because no, men are supposed to be disciplined. They're supposed to be strong physically as well as mentally. They're supposed to be stoic. They're supposed to be strong men who take care of their families, of themselves, their future families. They make money. They're not emotional. Because most people will ignore this and be like, oh yeah, men can be feminine too. Of course not. Men, we need strong masculine men. They'll be like, oh no, we don't need strong masculine men. Yes, we fucking do. These are the strong masculine men which take care of their families. They, they, they create big strong kids which are actually disciplined, which are actually strong and provide and protect this world and make this world a better place. We do need strong masculine men. Because most people will see this and like I said, they're just, they're just ignoring and being, and, and, and and just let it slide because, oh yeah, men can fe be feminine too and we don't need strong masculine men. Men can have breasts too. No, like I just said, we need strong masculine men. Feminine men is the reason for all of these fucking issues. You can try and be wishy-washy and sugarcoated, but no, this is the reason. Stronger, more masculine men would provide for the families, they would be more disciplined, they would, they would make more money, they wouldn't be fucking depressed whenever their life is easier as shit, is, or easy as shit. They don't have to go to war. They're not forced to pay bills. At such a young, as, at such a young age, at least. Yet they're claiming that they're depressed, and oh my god, my, my life is so hard. I want to kill myself. And all this bullshit. Gyno is evidence of this that men are more feminine than ever and we cannot just let this slide this is not normal and it does not bring any good things and you're not going to tell me that all oh, these feminine and feminine men also work hard like yeah it's okay to be in touch with your feminine side but you're not supposed to be we're not supposed to have all these feminine men men are supposed to be feminine no men are not supposed to be feminine it's okay to be in touch with your feminine side of course express your emotions yes i'm not saying that oh you should be the uh, Fucking depressed ass motherfucker who doesn't express any emotions. But no. I'm saying this because feminine men are those that don't work hard. They're the ones that cry all the time. They're the ones that claim that they're depressed. 
And if they truly worked hard, because I can already hear some people going, oh, no, they also work hard. If they did work hard, they wouldn't have fucking tits. Think about this and do it for your future self.